Brooks C15 saddle. Um, it is comfortable. Uh, it's probably the most comfortable saddle I've ever had if I haven't said that so far, so. More comfortable than the Brooks C15? Is it possible? Let's take a look. For those of you that watched my Brooks C15 review, you did hear me make the claim that I thought it was the most comfortable saddle I'd ever ridden. And um, that claim still holds pretty much true. I recently though, through gaining knowledge of touring, realized why there's wider saddles and the different attributes that a saddle has that makes it more comfortable for touring. And one of those things is gonna be your riding position and how you like to ride. If you are riding a, a road bike and you're being more aggressive and you're leaning forward more, then a saddle like the C13, C C15 is gonna be the better saddle for you. But what I didn't realize about touring and being more comfortable and with me, with the Jones handlebars, trying to get into that upright, upright position is that you want that wider saddle um, and you want that flex in the saddle if you're in that more upright position because your sit bones are gonna be positioned differently. Um, as you can see with the C15, it's not a super wide saddle and it's meant for a position where you're more bent over in a more road bike style position. So this is uh, my boss, Thad here. He's doing his uh, pre-opening uh, spin on the bike. Uh, for reference, Thad is riding a C15 curve. And this is kind of what I'm talking about. He's in that, on a road bike in a different riding position. Um, when he gets down on the hooks, he's on the drops, he's definitely gonna be in that, that more aggressive position. But um, Thad loves the uh, C15 curved. Um, he said it when he initially got it, he was able to ride like a long distance right off the bat. Was that right, Thad? 250 kilometers. There you go, guys. 250K out of the box. So pretty good returns. Thanks, Thad. Um, for me with being touring, I want to be more upright in this type of position and that's where a saddle like the C17 and even the C19 is going to come into play. Now whether you want to go with the carved part, the, with the carved saddle or just the normal saddle in the C17 or C19 is going to depend on you. Um, from my experience, I thought that the C15 was really flexible and a very comfortable saddle, but from having ridden on the C17, for the last couple of days, I have to say that the wider saddle and the cutout makes it so much more comfortable. As you can see, the seat really does, as I was mentioning, have a lot of flex. You can see when I push down on it, you can really see that center cutout part moving a lot. So you can imagine if you were riding that that's kind of the flex you're going to get and it really does make a difference. You can really feel the seat flexing when you ride and that's the key. And then the other thing too is, like I said, with being in the upright position, your sit bones are better situated on the wider saddle for that upright position. As far as the uh, specs go on both saddles, the C15 that I was riding is 283 millimeters long, as well as the C17 there, both the exact same length. But the uh, C17 actually weighs 446 grams and the C15 weighs 450 grams. So really very negligible difference in weight. Um, and be quite honest with you, they are a little on the heavy side, but for touring, that really shouldn't be a concern if you're gonna be strapping on all the bags on your bike. So uh, a few extra grams on the saddle does not hurt anybody. They are made out of vulcanized rubber, um, which is basically for all you Canadians, the best way I can describe it is, it's the same material as a hockey puck. So um, if you're ever in a pinch, you could melt one down and make a puck out of it. Okay, so those are my early thoughts on the C17 Carved. Obviously, I will share my thoughts going forward on it as I ride it further. But um, initially, it was as comfortable and familiar as the C15 was, if not more com comfortable right off the bat. I will mention, though, that um, initially I had it set up the same as the C15 as far as the tilt of the saddle. Um, as soon as I nosed up that saddle a little bit, brought the saddle nose up, the, com the comfort level totally changed. So keep that in mind when you get the saddle that you're gonna wanna play with that position um, as far as the tilt goes. So let's wrap it up from here. Um, as far as future videos goes, I'm going to be uh, doing a complete overhaul on the Trek 1120 drivetrain. It's gonna make the old girl feel like a completely new bike. So I'm really looking forward to that. Of course, it's gonna be Shimano XT. What else? Um, aside from that, there's gonna be some more gear coming up and then Really soon, in about a little over a month's time, I will hopefully be able to tour out to Wheatley and some of the campgrounds around here. 
I'm really looking forward to that. Wheatley was the trip I was heading out to when I started feeling really lousy. So um, the Wheatley trip, the first one, will kind of be a redemption tour. So stay tuned for that. But otherwise, I hope you guys are getting out there and doing something you love, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.